Local foster parents banding together hoping to fix what they call a broken system. Bay Area foster parents are not alone in complaints about foster care failures. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buto is joining us now live with details on two separate efforts to organize the parents. That's right, uh, Keith and Stacey. One of those involves a national movement of sorts, and a local group wants to try something new to turn out the lights on overnight office days. That's why I slept last night. Reports that foster children are still sleeping overnight in this Eckerd Connects Tampa office hit a nerve with dozens of local parents who insist there are enough open beds in licensed homes, even for emergency placements. According to Eckerd, the company that's paid $77 million a year to provide Bay Area foster care, 50 Hillsborough County foster children and another 14 in Pinellas and Pasco spent at least one night last year in unlicensed settings, such as offices. Foster parent Joshua 1J is part of a group setting up a nonprofit to end overnight stays in offices, even for the most difficult children to place. The ball's being dropped constantly uh, for a lot of these children. I love the kids. I want to try my best to be some sort of meaningful change for these uh, kids. Also, Florida is now the 18th state to join a relatively new national movement to unionize parents and foster parents. Shelly Vitella, the vice president of the organization, tells us the goals include providing legal guidance, changing child welfare laws, and advocating for children stuck in the middle. We do want a system that protects them, but also doesn't destroy them in the process. So if you have a bunch of broken kids that, that you know, are depressed that, that can't get on their feet and stuff like that. How do we fix this? It's just going to be one issue after another. In a separate effort, a state law to unionize foster parents was proposed last month in Massachusetts, where a foster parents' bill of rights is also under consideration. Keith? All right, thank you, Walton. If you have something you want Walt to investigate, you can call him on that number right there. That's the 1 800 338 0808 hotline.